Melissa, it is so exciting to speak with you. I want to know for those who haven't attended, myself included, what can they expect from the sing along sound of music? Because this event sounds amazing. Well, I've, I've been hosting, this will be my 18th year, I believe. And so I, I don't want to oversell it. <laughs> it's the most magical night of the year. So you're 17 going on 18. Yes. Be more. This is not your first rodeo. No. What is there to love about this event? Well, what you can expect, and I, you need to come if you have not been, it's um, you get to share this movie magic with 18,000 people on the in the best venue, on the biggest screen. The show starts at 6 p.m. You get there early. People dress up. We've got people dressed up as Maria, Captain Von Trapp, the, the, the nuns. We have... Um, we've had such creative costumes. People have dressed as the, the Oscars at the movies one. We've had, um, last year we had somebody um, do like a horror take and it was the hills are alive and they came dressed as hills and then like jumped out and like screamed. So we have this giant costume parade, which is so much fun. You can eat and have a glass of wine or a beverage while that's happening. We announce a winner. And then at 730, the movie starts and you get to sing along. And, you know, I cry every time Edelweiss comes on and everyone's cell phones, the lights light up the entire Hollywood Hills. And it's, it's truly magical. My family, my aunts have flown in almost every year for this. My sister's coming in, my parents, it truly is, you know, one of my favorite nights of the year. It really is. You got to be like the biggest fan of the sound of music because you've been doing this for so long and you speak about it with so much love and appreciation so I'm wondering why do you think it is that this movie has so much staying power and is able to find new generations to love it you know it's it's so interesting because a the movie it still is it beautifully just look wise it's shot so beautifully that part is just really wonderful but the message of it too is like standing up for what you believe in good versus evil and overcoming that and you know it, it that message I feel like every year it always hits home I guess what I'm saying is that that message never gets old and it seems to always fit whatever time we're in whether it's you know um post pandemic um whatever what's whatever's happening in the world sometimes what's in the news or whatever, it just is that message is such a, um, an eternal message that people, that resonates with people every time you see the movie. It's classic. I'm also wondering, have you in real life met anyone in the film? I have. I've, I think um, we've had almost every single Von Trapp original cast member come, the children, We've and um Charmaine Carr who played Liesel, she often co-hosted with me before she passed away. Um, I met Julie Andrews not at the sing along, but at another bowl event, which I couldn't breathe because she's just it's Julie Andrews, you know. Yeah. And she um knew that I was the host of the sing along, so she, which I was just blown away that she even knew that I was part of that event. Um, so yeah, we've had a lot of the cast members come. We've had some of the, I believe we've had um people that have worked on the movie come and it's just um I'm trying to think if we'll have any this year some of the Van Trapp kids so it's it, it just it's one of those things that people come to every year and it's um it becomes sort of their annual their annual thing that would be my peak once Julie Andrews knows who I am and really quickly this is kind of like my last question for you if you're down for this I know you host a game show called person place or thing I do I was wondering if you would do a person, place, or thing sound of music edition with me really quick. Of course I would. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Thank you for being a good sport. Okay. So this is a person. This person is an actress. Okay. Um, is this person um, in the sound of music? No. Is this person a person I have worked with? I don't believe you have worked with this person. Okay. Um, is this person known as a movie actress or more of a movie actress than TV? Yes, this is a classic film actress. And I'll give you your clue. Paramount optioned the rights to The Sound of Music intending for this actress to play the role of Maria. Oh my gosh, I know this. I know this. Um, oh, Because she Julie Andrews wasn't the original one that was supposed mm -hmm. to be Maria. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, was it post Mary Poppins? Okay, um... Oh my god. Before Mary Poppins, classic actress. I'm giving you extra clues. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. 
Moon River. Moon River. You might grab some Moon breakfast River. at Tiffany's. Oh, Audrey Hepburn. Yes. <laughs> she was fabulous as well, but nobody, Julie was meant to be Maria. She sure. was meant to be. I'm so glad that she still picked up the role after playing a nanny in Mary Poppins. And also I think on Broadway too, but yeah. it was so fun to chat with you. Congratulations on the event and hopefully 18 going on 19. I'll see you. Yes. Then. If you don't make it this year, you have my, you will be my guest next year. Okay. And you need to come do it. Truly. It is. I can't say it enough. Come do this. You will come back every year. Once you're in, you're in. Okay. Thank you so much much Melissa I'm gonna follow up with you if I don't make it this year I'm gonna be like my girl Melissa told me I have a ticket with her you may have to sit with some of my loud rowdy friends who dress up but <laughs> you are my guest you're coming that sounds amazing thank you so much have a good rest of your day thank you you too